all the buildup is now over. All the anticipation, all the wonder is over. You are the number one overall pick in the NFL draft. How do you describe this? Like, I love to see that. Like, that, that little grin tells me so much about what you've carried. How do you describe this? It's a, just a great feeling, obviously. Um, just hear everybody talk about it the last few months and just trying not to ever get ahead of myself and just put the work in and take it day by day. And then finally, just having full confidence, knowing like going to Jacksonville, I'm going to be a Jag. Uh, it feels good. Uh, and I'm just super excited to go to a community that's just like welcoming us with open arms already. And I love what they're building down there with Coach Meyer and everyone. So. Uh, just so excited and like you said, there's been a lot leading up to it and just can't wait to go to work and, and you know, get settled in somewhere finally and go to work. You've been carrying this expectation since eighth grade. Everybody, you're the anointed one. And you, you said to me in the past that it was heavy at times. What's the most difficult part that comes with that kind of expectation? Yeah, I think you just always got to be on, switched on, whether that's, you know, just in life or on, on the field. Obviously, there's a lot of expectations, but that comes with that comes with the platform. So, you know, I've kind of embraced it and chose to see, the, you know, the, the good side of it. Um, there's a lot of good things I can do with my platform and uh, just like helping the community or whatever that may be. There's so many good things that can come from it. But obviously, that comes with some some things that aren't great all the time. So a lot of scrutiny. Um, eyes on you all the time. So I think that was probably the hardest part for me to adjust to. But I think now, uh, you know, having dealt with it for three years at Clemson on the biggest stage in college, um, I think I'm, I'm more ready than, than you ever could be as a college guy moving on to the next level and just can't wait to, to see what happens in Jacksonville. You're going to be one of the faces of the NFL, man. There's a lot of people who don't know you yet. Who is Trevor Lawrence away from the game? Uh, just, just a normal guy that wants to that wants to lead a successful life, and I think successful to me means just treating the people around me right, caring for people in my community, you know, being a good husband, being a good dad one day, being a good son, brother, all those things, and you know, I think I think that counts as a, as a success. And then aside from that, obviously, you know, I'm driven. I want to be the best I can be on the field, and for me, that means giving it everything I have for as long as I can, and if and hopefully my whole career it's in Jacksonville. Um, and that's, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just excited for that. Your new head coach, Urban Meyer, told me that this is the most important day in the history of the Jacksonville Jaguars franchise. What do you hope to help deliver to that city? Just me. Just, just be me and go in and, and put the work in, earn the respect and the trust of my coaches and teammates, and take it day by day. Um, don't make it bigger than it is. Just trying to go in and, and be who I am. So, dog laying it's great. Right here. It's great, bring, man. Bringing Indy with me, but uh, <laughs> no, it's like, like just just being myself. I think just that's the biggest thing is not trying to do too much, not trying to be someone else. Um, who I've been up to this point has been enough. It's going to continue to be enough. So just keep being me. How do, how will you define success in the NFL? Success in the NFL, obviously, it's. I mean, pretty much every standard is by wins and losses, and um, I think that's the easiest way to judge it. But, um, I mean, I guess that's how I would define it. Like I said, success in life is a little bit different for me. I think they can be different, but um, I think those can go hand in hand, too. And my goal is to have a great career, go to Jacksonville, win some Super Bowls, do everything I can to make the city as great as I can, and then... Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a success, winning, winning Super Bowls, all those things are part of my goals and something I want to do. Um, but like I said, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. I just want to go there, take it day by day, and get to work. All right, last thing. I said to Dabo Sweeney, your, your head coach at Clemson earlier, you're an alien. And the reason I say that is you're this generational talent as a player, but you have this perspective as a human being that's extremely rare, period, but especially at your age. How was that honed? How, how, how was this person built that became the number one pick and managed all that comes with it this way? I really think it's from the people I've had in my life and that I've been surrounded with, the people that God has really just put in my life, and it's no coincidence. I think it's helped groom me into who I am, and then also the people that I've chose to have in my life. I think there's definitely a strategy behind that, and surrounding yourself with good people, I think that's the most important thing. Um, and no one's ever let me get arrogant, no one's ever let me get the big head, and just surrounding myself with people that care about me for me, 
and not really what I do or how I do it or how good I do it or whatever. Just really love me for me. And then I've, I've noticed everything else kind of falls in line. I'm able to really maximize what I have and just use it to the best of my ability. It's insanely impressive, young man. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you so much for having Appreciate us here. Man. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.